not running shoes. <laughs>striving to be lazy 100% I promise yesterday 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 was a very good day of, of laziness today is also gonna be good but I gotta get this rope up the boys have been egging me on for days now to get this rope up so all right let's go anyway this is the last project I I promise I really do promise right getting groceries for the adventure coming up love you so we're just getting getting ready getting ready all right here let me go get um let me get michael bottom 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 put a get out you got him oh oh boy you want to show him look what joseph has wow that is so cool What's going on? Not listening? We're not. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you don't need much in this world. All you need parents out there, just buy a rope. It's endless, endless hours of ententainment. Look, they're, they're, yeah, burning energy, working on muscles. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, talking about running and family life balance and all that good stuff. Mm. Now, we're sharing a hot mic here. Hot mic, hot mic. Hot mic. Yes. It's so cute. And we uh, dinner was amazing. Oh, That's thanks. why my shirt is <laughs> filled with sriracha sauce. <laughs> That's real life right there. That's kids. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> so, before we dive in, I do want to read a quick comment okay. from Northern Ireland. Ooh. Just came in today from Alexandra. Listen everybody. to this. And it connects to today's topic about family life running so she said just wanted to say hi from northern ireland i will receive a, a bargain pair of new balance bongos for 60 pounds tomorrow she's an over pronator which those are stabilized new balance shoes just so you know oh, okay. she has four kids so she Aww. finds it hard to justify spending a lot on herself for her shoes Aww. but my running shoes are utterly battered eldest daughter is 18 in college and has really got into her running oh. despite having a medial amputation of her right foot she is loving the pegasus 35s oh. With orthotics, and I bought her a pair of wild horse, wild horse fives. Good job for cross country. After seeing my review, oh. and she says they are fantastic. Thank you so much for your work. Oh, and please thank True Love for all her work too. It, uh, it can't be easy getting the. Oh, sorry, the, something covered it. Getting the right balance. I think she says. Oh. Blessings. Come on. Thank you, Alexander. So you're my people. You're, you're right. Yeah. What's yeah. your maiden name? I forgot, Sweeney. It's all right. Put a camera on someone, and that's what happens. Sweeney. My maiden name is Sweeney. And her mom's side of the family is Maher. Maher. Okay, so, so you're our people. Very Irish here. Oh. Very Irish here. Basically, so, hon, okay. what do you think about being married to oh. an avid runner? Yes. And what is like some, maybe a little advice you would give mm. to spouses out there who... Okay. Or maybe their spouse is getting into running. Okay. And like, as far as like supporting them or helping them do well in their training, do well in their racing. Okay. Any thoughts you want to give about family life balance with running? Okay. Great question. Oh, should I hold it? Yeah, I mean, Basically, I love you. I, know, I, I love, love you. my runner husband. I and I think, first of all, as, as far as a passion, as mm. something that you, a hobby, if you can call it a hobby, like that, something that draws you in and gives you life and renews you. I mean, what an amazing choice. Mm -hmm. It's healthy. It, it, it's uh, simple. 
it, it requires so few things. Like we live in Colorado and there's so many skiers and there's like- Dirt bikers. Oh my gosh, it's like $800 just for like one weekend to do something. And oh, my favorite, my favorite yeah. is how fun it is. It's a family, like when he has a race, we the whole family comes, not just us and our children, but his siblings and nieces and nephews and extended family and other friends. And it's such an awesome, it's like, Communio. It draws its community. It, it helps us all be together. It's not like, oh, husband's off doing his thing. We're here doing our thing. We. He, it's like brings us all together. Yeah. And I love that. And the boys, for them to see, sorry, for them to see just the competitiveness, the uh, perseverance, and like that time he fell. Oof. And if you ask me, well, <laughs> okay. But he, he did such a great job that he, so many times he got right back up and was a great sportsman. And so many times he said to the boys, like, oh, and when Demoris fall, we get back up. And they actually saw that. They saw him fall and get back up and finish the race. And that there's not like, it's not this intense pressure. And oh my gosh, it's just like, it, it's perspective. And cut to the last race that True Love was cheering at for not even myself, <laughs> for Joseph Barton. Let's listen to True Love <laughs> cheering Joseph Barton into the finish. So that was True Love cheering Joseph on through the finish line. You can hear, I was standing probably a good 100 meters away at least, <laughs> and True Love's cheering on. It just is so fun, so much passion. Um, now, what is one challenge that might uh, arise with family life balance, with running, that you have noticed? Like, just it's a little bit of a challenge. Well, I, I think it's hard. Like, you... I want to have healthy stuff available. Oh, bless you. That's a challenge. That's a challenge. Oh, okay, two thoughts came to mind. The first is very simple of just like making sure to have good, healthy food and not buying like Oreos. Yeah. Because, which is smart. And it's- We love Oreos. Listen, we love less than Oreos. But that's so, it's healthy for everybody. But I just, it, it, that can be like, I'm tempted. Or sometimes you'll see the cupboard stocked with processed food. So yeah. that's one thing. And then the second thing, a challenge is, of course, I think it's, I get sad or disappointed when, like you're disappointed. So like if, when your injury came or when, you know, like something didn't go the way you wanted in a run or the n nutrition didn't hit your body in the right way or something like that, that's always sad, bummer. Yeah. Because you've, I, I've seen how hard you've worked. But I think you, of course, you're the first one to be like, well, you know, that's life and, and here's something positive or, or at least we, we have our health or at least we're all together or, you know, so. And in order to strike that balance yeah. with training, with work, with, taking care of the house mm. would be with a family like what um how does that go okay yeah. i thought was thinking of this earlier when i was nursing michael i think you do such a great job of trying oh you do babe you crush it oh he crushes it you do babe but, but the idea of like pockets of time so carve so like on a weekend um especially when michael was first born or when i was pregnant like i would put the big boys down for a nap and i would go down for a nap so husband was like primed and ready to be, have that moment be when his run was maybe it was raining out wow. maybe the sun was beating down it didn't matter because that was what was the time best for the family for him to zip off so that was the time he zipped off for his run and i think other little pockets of time where nap time is critical yeah yeah where where there's like a pause or it's like natural downtime in the family you're ready to go mm -hmm. with a workout or a stretching or um, a cool down or you, you're you're always kind of like ready and you fit it into the blocks mm -hmm. that work best for us versus like here's what's best for me as a runner and making us fit around that you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so that's amazing i think mm -hmm. you do a great job with that and then i think a gift of running of just that mental processing so like if i had like well we have date night every week crushing it love you um so if i bring up something like, oh i'm worried about one of our kids in this way or this came up and what do you think how should we handle this like then when you're out for a run you can come back the next day and be like, oh, here's three solutions mm. or here's how I see it. Or it's like mental processing, Process. which you'd have to do anyway. But now you're getting a run in and you're processing yeah. and you're coming up with solutions for my problems. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then the other thing I thought of was, oh, the net balance. So like, for instance, if you know you're you're going to be, should I pause? Oh, pause. Motorcycle coming by. Pause. A little too loud. And we're back. Basically, the idea of the net balance that when... I guess this was more about like work because running sort of yeah. is like work, but that even though you like work so hard, I feel like every minute of every second of every day, you're working really hard, yeah. but you already, we've already knew at the beginning of the summer, we had our veil, weekend away, we're camping, we're going home to Chicago. Mm -hmm. Like you've carved out these big chunks where it's just like, obviously you'll run still, but where there's so much uh, total presence available for all of us. Mm -hmm. And I think if you look at that, like, okay, for the net of the summer, that balance and how you do that, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. is a really good job. Thanks. Yeah. We're trying. And I think as an endurance athlete, you are very driven. Mm -hmm. 
for anyone out there. Like that's part of being in a long distance runner, an ultra runner, a marathoner. And so sometimes it's a little challenging to unplug that drive on the weekends or on a vacation even where you're just chilling out and relaxing. So I have to work on that quite often where, and you can probably relate to it, all the like runner, like this, and it's a good thing. It's been, I'd rather be like driven than not driven Yeah. in this world. That's way better to be driven. It, you know, it's like, you, who, who, go, who wants to wake up on Sunday and run 20 miles in negative 20 degree re- weather? Not many people. Yeah. So it's like, but it's, ba- it's that balance mm-hmm. of knowing when to pull off the gas, making sure you don't get injured sometimes. So it's always a little bit of a challenge, but I don't, mm-hmm. anyway, that's Good. part of being an endurance athlete yeah. and competitive. I think it's so amazing that the virtue lived by you people, the perseverance, <laughs> you're driven, your um, like toughness in pain, yeah. you push through pain, and also perspective. And I think too of like, I remember back in college, I, you'd have all this stuff too, and I would just kind of like procrastinate and then do all, do it all at once. And I'd be like, you, t- this type of soul right here, you like do the hard stuff, you do it first, you get it done, and then you can enjoy the rest of the time, mm-hmm. which I, I, I admire that. And I think it's inspiring. Mm-hmm. And I think, yes, you can draw other people to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are just a few reflections we could talk, as we say, all night about family life balance, Mm. running. Uh, Key word, true love, key word Mm. is going to be... Pockets. Oh, pockets of time. (laughs) Pockets of time. Yes, I like it. I like it. Balance, I got to balance too easy. Too easy, too easy. Pockets. And... I got a fucking full of sunshine. (laughs) I got a love and a love and it's all mine. Oh, (laughs) <laughs> Take it away now. <laughs> Question of the day. What is your number one challenge for balancing mm-hmm. family life and running? Mm-hmm. And what is your like action item, number one action item for overcoming that challenge? This is where the parents out there and maybe who mm-hmm. soon to be parents. Aww. Maybe you're recently married. Maybe you're engaged. Who knows? Maybe, you know, whatever. You can learn as well down in the comments. And we appreciate you being here. Mm-hmm. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow. All right, see you guys. We love you. I have some other thoughts. And we're back. <laughs> but you don't have to put them in. But just as far as like what the spouse can do for a Super runner. Super psych. Super psych. <laughs> I feel like when I ask you like what what do you need or what would be best for you? Like for instance, learning that even like three days to four days before a race, yeah. don't bring up giant concerns you have with the kids that can wait until the following week. Or minor concerns because this guy he's trying to get in the zone and if it's something that can just wait versus like I'm Irish oh shout out and it's like con- stream of consciousness JD Salinger and I'm like Brr, hey what about this what about this oh yeah this came up this kid what about this what about this boundary what about the da, 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 da? and he's like tr- you know it's like too much for he's trying to process zone 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 simple races are okay yeah it's like peak like races. cookie chase 5k that's okay Ain't no thing peak race like I do like to get in the zone and like some people have asked hey let's hang out like let's have a meetup before a race but i'm not in the zone just want to focus yeah. it's after the race where we can absorb all that right and honestly it's he's still totally present and available and if there was something i was concerned about but I, just don't bring up something that you can just talk about the next week Do you yeah know what I'm saying? yeah let him focus oh i appreciate that yeah that does help all right now we're done ciao, ciao.